the ye area. We want to see our faces on that picture first before we. Am I in, Eddie? Three, two, one. Hey, it's your girl, Mick Yee, 360 Radio, Connected Radio, the Ye area. We are here tonight. Beautiful Monday night, Sacramento, California, the capital of the state. Um, we're here tonight with a very special guest. This is someone that I met. Shout out to Nobi from Inf Gang. He had me out to host one of the open mic um, competitions, and I met Deshaun there. So uh, let's explain who you are and where you're from for the people that don't know. Yeah, what's up, everybody? My name is Deshaun Forrest. I'm a Bay Area born and raised artist. I'm a rapper, producer. Been at it for several years now. Bay Area born and raised. Okay, and I fucked his name up the first night I met him, much like <laughs> I do with everybody else. So um, if I had seen the flyer with your the E in your name, I wouldn't have said it the way I said it. Uh, I good. think I was moving and grooving a little too fast. You was night. doing your thing, though. You yeah. was holding it down that night. It yeah, was good. definitely was. Thank yeah. you. And I just used the um, L word, so I owe the jar a dollar. So there is a big little jar here, and I just used it again. Um, and this is for $2. This is for, uh, we were talking about it in the parking lot, but I'll explain it again. This is to diminish how you speak about yourself. So... It not not all of these are going to necessarily apply um, as far as the application of the L word, but you don't want to use the L word at all because you get taxed and you get a dollar put in the jar because you don't want to make anything you're doing small. You mm. want everything to be big. Right. So that's the, the point of the big I like that. L jar, the Noted. big L jar. <laughs> so <laughs> T Nutty was in here last night and he swore to God we were hustling him. He was like, wait a minute. <laughs> He's all, so I have to put money in it. When I say the L word, but if you say the L word, you put money in it and that just goes right back to you. And I was like, you, you got a point, you know, like that <laughs> is our, he's, he, you can't, you can't fa you can't trick an old schooler, you know, like there, he's fast on it. So shout out Nutty. He was in here um, and we I haven't sat down and talked to him in a long time, but mm. definitely a, a legend in the game. Um, and I wore my super dope vest tonight. So this is the Cree's creative design. She'd put all the. The greats on there but as i'm looking at it i'm like there's some that i missed so i'm gonna have to do like a pair of jeans too you know yeah put some, together a whole fit we need a jacket yeah. we need a sibo yeah. we need a it's a lot on here too short yeah. so we're gonna start a whole nother um part of this but so we're here tonight to talk about you we're here tonight to talk about what you have going on um i know that you're also affiliated with uh b mike rob so yeah. maybe explain how you got to know him and what is your affiliation with him yeah so Do you mind if I smoke? oh no you good you okay. good yeah so i met mike a couple years ago yeah it was uh summer 2022 i actually just graduated college mm -hmm. a couple years ago and i went straight from college into um being like low-key a part of uh bet weekend oh nice there was this indie artist showcase uh tour thing that was getting started out there in la and i pulled up and that's where i met mike um we did a radio interview just like this mm -hmm. and that was actually my first time meeting him and then the following night was the actual la show and he was hosting it did, wow exciting yeah did my set gave, gave it everything i had killed it and before i had left he was like he handed me his business cards like hit me up right you know i'm saying let's talk let's work super it. solid dude yeah um you see i'm i'll be playing with it because i'm not ready for that right now this blunt was given to me by goldie gold from the federation and it's like um rolled in i want to say it's rolled in keef i'm not ready for that i'm not ready for that <laughs> We're gonna try that later. Um, so yes, yeah, so you have B Mike. The affiliation with B Mike is. Are you still considered an independent artist? Oh yeah. 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 So you're not signed. No, nah, no, we're not signed. Okay. So um, and then I know you, as of late, just ran into. You did the show with Mac Mall yeah, in Fairfield. In Fairfield. So I was just with Mall um, this weekend. They were at the uh, 50th birthday party of one of their long, long childhood friends mm -hmm. up here in Sacramento. So it was dope to see him, um, Booby. Mm -hmm. Doobie Ooh, and yeah. Dank all hit the stage together, so that was dope to see. So, uh, how was the show? I didn't make it that night, so I apologize. I was supposed to be there, but yeah. you have like 900 jobs. Yeah, he told like. me it went well. Yeah, it did. It went well. It was great for me. It was 
it was it was a small show, but for me, it, it meant something on a sentimental level right. because I mean, we was talking about it before we went on air. It was literally on the street where I grew up, you know. So it was like right outside my neighborhood, and that right. was my first time performing uh, out in Fairfield. Nice. First time I had been there in a little while, and it was like wow. I used to literally walk the street as a little kid coming home from school, mm-hmm. and now I'm actually performing. Right. You know what yeah, I mean? And Old it's Town like the kid. total flip of what it was, right? Right, right. yeah. So Dreams that was awesome. Dreams do come true. Yeah. Shit is dope. And I like the answer bar. It's a nice setup. It's a nice bar. Um, Booby's usually in there kind of politicking with that. So I like that spot. It's a good spot. I also have opportunity up here if you ever want to get on. Um, we have an indie showcase we're doing actually this Friday night okay. in um, Sacramento. It's called All Things Indie Showcase. It's hosted by myself, and it is uh, thrown by iLisa Entertainment. So she um, puts on independent artists and Basically, you pay a slot fee, and then you sell the tickets at whatever amount of money you want, and then you make the money back Mm -hmm. for yourself. And it also has uh, a—you win $250 prize based on crowd participation uh, at the show. So you want to bring your crowd with you, obviously, because they're going to scream for you. Right, right? yeah. And then you're going to win the money. (laughs) (laughs) So that's kind of been uh, the new flip on her— uh, shows we also have a, a really dope uh, Christian rapper who's coming out here. She actually did a flip on Keeks um, beat. Keeks, tell me when to go beat, and she Work. flipped it on like a a Christian viral uh, hip hop level. So she's coming out here to perform. And we have slots open for that too. Oh, what's her What's her name? Kajaya. Okay. Yeah. So I'll, I'll get you the information yeah, on her as I'm well. Check that out. Um, so let's talk about some of your influence and um, background musically, and then we'll get into your first song. Yeah, so I grew up. It's actually interesting that you brought up um, uh, the Christian artists because uh, mm-hmm. I cause I grew up I grew up in a Christian household, so I grew up on a lot of gospel and Christian music, and I also grew up on hip hop. Right, <laughs> so, so mix. Yeah, so in my music, you'll hear like that that faith part of it as a foundation, mm-hmm. but then you also will hear those uh those those classic you know hip hop values and right. stuff like that the storytelling the lyricism painting those kind of pictures and all that authenticity and stuff like that as okay. well and so i grew up listening to artists just like lecrae and then oh, it's, yeah, it was like Le, it's lecrae and then it was you know j cole and then obviously it's kendrick and then you also had the gospel side so you know like john b key for everyone that you know knows gospel out there or like kirk franklin or something like that it was like that mix of that kirk is just und- undeniable yeah and i like lecrae too because i like the blessing song like yeah when that with song Ty. came out super yeah. dope song so credits to them mm-hmm. um and you'll say we'll hear that in some of your sounds today as well like what you oh, i'm just speaking yeah, yeah. Over, overall like you dive into my music you'll you you'll hear that blend of both right it's like okay he he got that hip-hop in him but he also got that faith in him right. sprinkled out throughout his music as well and then as far as your beat selection or your production, do you go to the same person? Who do you choose for your beats? And I sounds? actually I actually be on them. I yeah. be I be I produce about Oh, you make your own Yeah, beats. yeah. I produce about ninety percent of most and of the production. time. It's, yeah. So I I wear all them hats. Nice. So one stop shop, we like that. Yeah, so all of this stuff, uh, all the stuff that you're gonna hear tonight is actually produced by me. Wow. Yeah. Well, let's run it in. DJ Eddie Z on the wheels. I know we sent in the order. Um, the fir- the name of your first song is going to be Show Up. So let's talk a bit about it, and then we'll run into it. What's yeah. some background on the song? Yeah, so this this is a song about, like, you know, if you were really out there chasing your dreams, really out there, like, hustling, you know you have to be consistent. You have to show up. You have to just keep being consistent every single day. Right. And I've always been a very ambitious, very driven person. And so that song... In short, that song came from that space of just being determined, dedicated, being committed to, to the craft of making the best music I could possibly make, being the best artist I possibly can be, and just showing up consistently. I think we touched on the, the show up topic. Um, even at, even as of late, I was rocking an, another artist from the Bay, from Berkeley, mm-hmm. um, L.O.E. Gino. He had given a T-shirt that says S-U-F-Y. And it's kind of like the dare to say no to drugs, like that mm-hmm. font. And it's called Show Up For Yourself. So okay. um, that's the same kind of premise. And I totally feel that because I've done it for my whole radio career. Like, no one's going to do this if you don't do it. Exactly. And if you don't love it, they're not going to love it either. So exactly. It's really all about your core. So I, I applaud you for that. It's a great stance to take on your 
ethics and your morals mm-hmm. musically. So show up at production. Yeah. Beat. All this that. is the guy. Let's All let that. him hear it. DJ Eddie Z on the wheel, y'all. It's your girl, Welcome Big Easy 360 Radio. Yes, all. sell this we need to shop this to the college teams even the yeah. pro teams yeah it's a very um motivational song mm-hmm. count on me to show up there ain't he's not scared of shit like we're going to win this game like that would be a really dope intro for any type of game really oh yeah like getting hyped up in the locker room oh, and, yeah. but i did hear some of your faith base too like you mm-hmm. can hear all of that in there and you really do kind of have a, a, a it's reminiscent to me of like a big sean mm. um jake j cole like mm-hmm. that type of flow mm-hmm. so i think it's it's timeless you know it's, it's a great it sounds great it's a great song and you produced it yourself yeah and you made the beat yourself yeah super impressive like yeah. one-stop shop i love those kind of artists appreciate so it we also you don't shot really a video have to for depend it too. on anybody yeah you can do everything you want 
on yeah, you. Yeah, you know, we also we made that one. We also shot a video for it too. My man Brandon, he's behind the camera. He also the the man behind the, the what music is this, video. What does he call his um company? Do, do you, a Roscope. A Roscope yeah. shoot like films? Yeah. Okay. A Roscope. Are you looking to shoot for anybody else or are you just his specific photographer? Okay. I feel <laughs> on that. I like exclusivity too. I'm trying to get uh, this guy on that. I'm just not rich enough yet. So um it's are you guys like old friends? Go back yeah, a long way. We, we we go back to sophomore year high school. It's been ten years. Nice. Brother for life. That's for dope show. to be able to support each other yeah. like long into this. So um I wanted to shout these people out. We met them over the weekend. This is the commemorative Shock G brew. Wow. Um rest in peace to Shock G Digital yeah. Underground. They yeah. were selling these at Oak Park Brewery. They have some exclusivity to it there. So we were there this weekend and they uh, we were drinking these ice cold. They were really good too. So shout out to Oak Park Brewery. She kicked me a few cans for the just for the promotional um, use. So I want to make sure and shout them out. And please do go support because I do believe this. Uh, some of the proceeds go to his family. So um, legend in the game, you know, Digital Underground. Money B was just at Oak Park Brewery like three weeks ago when they were, you know, developing this and launching it. So he's here a lot. And just to be like around them, because when I was young, I grew up on Digital Underground. Okay. Sex packets, you know, like I'm – probably old, a small bit older than you so one era ahead right mm. but the this is definitely a must buy i'm not a real beer drinker mm. but i did like that it was nice and cold so what about your live shows do you have any live shows coming up and um also tell them about the creative process of your live shows like how do you pick what you're going to perform yeah so live shows interesting you brought that up i literally just had a live show last night in yeah, san I jose know, I saw that. Mm -hmm. yeah so we've been rocking consistently and i'm also speaking of live shows i'm also going to be going on tour mm. in october starting october 11th we're going on tour for neft the pharaoh Hey, Chang yeah. season. I he's think it's Chang season four. I don't know. It's one yeah. of it's like he's one of his multiple tours that he's done on that name. So. Yeah. So that's that's brand new. Like is we we just finalized things. I haven't even had a chance to post about it on my Instagram well, yet. Thank you for the first so, shot. First shout out here. Yeah, you know, we go on tour. You heard it. We you heard it. Well, and that's pretty film. cool too because I think they're coming to SAC if I saw. They are. Right. Yes. Yeah. We're we we out here. I want to say that's the 18th. And it's like the Red Lounge, Red Room I Lounge? I think so, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll be back out here, slide to the show for show. I will definitely Sacramento. Do that. But as far as the uh, creative process, I'm um, just assembling the set. Um, you know, doing a lot of, uh, I've done a lot of open mics and then, you know, indie artist showcases. So mm -hmm. everywhere I'm at, you got to make new fans. So you got to hit them with your best stuff, your most energetic and engaging stuff, mm -hmm. the stuff that they can sing along to. So I would do show up. Things quite they a can bit. remember, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. and easily bob their head too. I would do show up a lot, and then I would just assemble a set of high energy, but also showcases like the 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 lyrical skill, the pain right. game, and stuff like that, you know, and gets the crowd energetic and going. And when it's time to deliver, we deliver, match the energy, teaching the chorus. Well, all, I think all a lot stuff. of the people who watch the show are. Um, up and coming like younger artists mm -hmm. so i like to have people who have established that routine try to give people as much game as they can you know yeah. and as far as bringing your music to shows do you bring a show set oh 1000 percent. there we go i'm a show setter okay you get one five less you know if it's a 10 minute set or if it's like an eight minute or seven or eight minute set it's a little bit more reasonable you know one file mm -hmm. got the music already the performance tracks as DJs would like that better. yeah mm -hmm. performance tracks and then once you start once I start getting into like the 10 to 12 then it's like okay split the set into like two files mm -hmm. that way you know you can breathe talk to the crowd right. introduce Take the next set of songs slight break exactly okay. but I like to have it as easy and straight to the point straightforward for the people working the shows and it goes a long way it does. It goes a long way. It does. As as far as someone who it, it was my primary job to collect music and get it to the DJ, your phone ain't going to work. It's not. You can't plug the phone into his DJ laptop. Like, everything. I've seen shit crash all the way out when that happens. I've seen the phone start ringing back to back to back. I'm like, put oh it my on gosh. airplane mode. Yeah. But 
this is the life lessons that artists need to learn. Like yeah. that's you, you will come you will come to the show prepared if you had that happen to you. Right. And especially if the uh, DJs are like not fucking with it because you want the DJs to like you. And another thing what I also do because a lot of times it's like okay send your show set to this person you know email mm-hmm. or whatever so I'll send it to to wherever it needs to go but then I also bring a backup on the flash. Smart. And then I also would have it a, a second backup on my phone. Thank you. So just like three different ways to make sure we're going to do the show and it may seem like over the top but I've, I've pulled up to a show where okay they're getting ready for me like oh what's wrong what happened to the file oh man it got corrupted it's Here's all good i got my usb mm-hmm. right here mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying if that didn't work i got it on the phone right, right. here right. so it's it's good to be prepared yeah and i think flash drives are uh incredibly valuable for artists you should have that on you anyway because if some you should have a couple of different ones on you because if someone wanted to hear your music if you got that opportune moment and you're sitting right down now. with mac mall or you're sitting down with e40 and he's like my weevilization you got a copy of your music you yeah. can whip that bad boy out Boom. and go buy you a brand new one because you just gave that one to e40 right that i'm just saying it's way easier you guys so gotta be prepared please follow those instructions right um as far as just some questions i like to ask so what podcasts are you watching what do you enjoy right now do you watch podcasts do you listen and if I, so, do you want to shout me out? The main one I've been digesting lately is Joe Budden's podcast. Oh yeah, that's a every a lot of people say that. I I, I like I like Joe. I started uh, I started listening. I listen to it more so than I actually watch it. Right. Um, because I listen to it at work, and I've been almost almost a year. Like I just so happened to start listening to it right before the beef, mm-hmm. the the Kendrick oh, yeah, and Drake yeah. beef happened. I I got into it right, <laughs> right before it happened, and then when the beef started, then the show was like, "Yo, this it's is awesome! Popping, yeah, right. we we moving, it's right. popping right now. I'm looking forward to it." But uh, I, I love I love his insight, him having that experience in the industry, oh, yeah, having been mm-hmm. signed and now not in it anymore all that experience i just love his insight Mm -hmm. and i feel like as an artist i I need i need to it's not optional i need to listen to people who've done it already correct it's just for guidance yeah and And he'd be giving out free games so listen oh that's what i try to tell everybody all these podcasts do even drink champs gives out. drink champs is another one i like yeah Yeah, nori and them yeah i'm not a drinker or i would try that here but when i used to drink on air you would be interviewing me that would be the (laughs) that's how it would be going down right now um, as far as your podcast, yeah. what is your podcast called? How can they catch it? Where is it? What's it about? What made you start that? Yeah, so the podcast is called Unrehearsed. It's on wh- wherever you can think of your podcast. YouTube. Everywhere. YouTube, right. Spotify, okay. Apple Podcast. Everywhere you can possibly think of. I co-host it. Uh, my co-host name is Moriana Jack. But we just call her Mo on the show. And this this podcast is actually just about society and culture. So we'll talk about marry out of different topics from i mean we'll we'll get deep we'll talk about relationships mm-hmm. we'll talk about you know growing pains just life experiences right anything and Gr- everything anything and everything you know depression mental health all that kind of stuff and just create we we'll, the reason why we wanted to do it is because we wanted to create a safe space for that right to where people a lot of those things you kind of sweep it under the rug you may not have that kind of community that you can go to to right. actually talk about those kind of things and us guys just speaking to us guys out there a lot of times we internalize things and we just try to like dug it out is what it is kind of mentality right but i kind of wanted to me and mo we kind of wanted to break that and just create that safe platform to where okay you yourselves might not engage in a conversation with us but maybe you just hearing it will make you just help you just a bit exactly you're not alone you know what i mean i feel you on that and i think it's it's very important it's also uh, mental health awareness month this Mm. month i believe it was september it's either September or October, so that's definitely important because I think with the internet nowadays, we're we're not communicating as much as we used to as people with like our voices, mm-hmm. so or face to face per se. Mm-hmm. So I think it's good to be able to to have a place to go listen to things like that, yeah, and talk about it. Um, if you had ten thousand additional dollars to add to your music budget, what would you spend it on right now? Advertising. That's a great answer. Advertising, I believe. I believe in what we're building up. Shout out the whole transparency squad. Uh, you know, that's that's the music, that's the podcast, and that's. I mean, it's a lot. We got a little nice team that we're building, and I Big, really, nice team. I really believe Dollar. in us. <laughs> uh, 
I was doing good. See, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make it through. But you never know how much you say that word. Until yeah. You, yeah. It's the truth though, because it's a big podcast. And it's, it's a big, a big podcast, mm -hmm. big team, big everything, and I truly mean that. And so, knowing that, I believe. <laughs> We have a lot of great content out there, a lot of great music out there. We got a lot of podcast episodes, and so I will put, and we're doing this now, but if I have more, I will put more in just advertising and get it in more more people's faces. Okay, so that's a great answer. I think that people out there um, need to hear that because it's, it's what I think a lot of people need to spend money on right now is yeah. promoting, advertising, merch, shit like that. It's very important. So we're going to go into Ain't a Thing. Let's talk about what that song is about and some background behind it before we go into it. Yeah, so Ain't a Thing. All of these, all of the music that we're playing today is off of a brand new mixtape I just released earlier this summer called The Dream. Check that out. All all platforms as well. You can find that at Deshaun Forest. So Ain't a Thing came from a place of just speaking to the negative voices that I would encounter. You know, whether it's outside stuff or a lot of times it was my own negative thoughts. Right. And so. Negative talk. Yeah, we're just casting all of that down to the side, man. It's, it's anything I ain't going to worry about, what I'm hearing, what others may be saying, what I'm thinking, whatever doubts I'm pushing through, mm -hmm. doing my thing. I'm not going to worry about it. It ain't a thing to me. Right. Let's put those blinders on. Ain't a thing. Yeah. Eddie Z. Tunnel vision. You, did you produce this one? I did. Everything you hear in the night oh, is wow. produced by That's me. That's right. You said that. Yeah. Let's run that in. DJ Eddie Z on the wheels. It's your girl, Mickey 360 Radio. Tap in. I'm going to put everybody's IGs up right after the show. I ain't wishing nothing, no harm, no harm. I'm in my own lane, doing me, doing me. You would have thought I did wrong, did wrong. The way they fight darts at me, at me. It's like they wishing I would fall off, fall off. For I had a chance to soar off, soar off. One more second, I'ma go off. But I don't pay him no mind, no time. I won't worry about it. Ain't a thing, move it is. I concern about it. It's whatever, I'm no better. I don't worry about it. Ain't a thing, move it is. I concern about it. It's whatever, I'm no better. I'm no better. They talking, showing they high. I learned to value silence. I'm bound to keep with kindness for I resort to violence. Patience dying like polygraph. I detect the lion. That talk is cheap like some easy money, but I don't buy it. From diving board to the pool of success. I'm diving in, Lugain is no limit. Call me like heat on flying and they firing on every opposition without trying, man. They did not just work, but soon will ask me if I'm hiring. Cause I ain't gonna stop. Call it poison. I guess I'm dying in. I crossed the river, made it appears that I was crying, man. The past where it feels at the mud is how I'm grinding, man. Dirt on my name, I play seeds with that environment. The talk is keeping me humble. Got foundation to stand on any moment I tumble. Stick your grip with the club so you ain't spotting me fumble. I ain't one for nothing. Got answers for deepest conundrums. Y'all can just keep it coming. I ain't wishing nothing, no harm, no harm. I'm in my own lane, doing me, doing me. You would have thought I did wrong, did wrong. The way they fight darts at me, at me. It's like they wishing I would fall off. Oh, oh. oh I had a chance to soar off, soar off. For my second, I'ma go off. But I don't pay him no mind, no time. I won't worry about it. In the pain, move it is, I concern about it. It's whatever, I know better, I don't worry about it. In the pain, move it is, I concern about it. It's whatever, I know better. A writer's one who's learned from errors when penning letters. Yes. Shout out God and accountability making me better. Yeah. Stubborn boys to break bricks over this head of mine. The softened up have spoke me, I tenderize. My last projects where I teach the stories of the past. And heal through rap and staying in tune with the divine. Uh -huh. It was a grind trying to bounce back, endured the fight. Okay. And my adversaries with thieves stealing all that I had. Got it back. An investment with dividends, I then I tripled that. Switch the shot to a panoramic, still won't even capture it all. Immune to the stones thrown to get my statue to fall. I don't even care enough to get emotions involved. Only roll with team players, we all passing the ball. Chasing several rings like I rush to answer the call. Ascension inevitable, I will never forestall. Who am I to go hard? I ain't wishing nothing, no harm. No harm. I'm in my own lane, doing me. Doing me. You would have thought I did wrong. did wrong. The way they fight darts at me. at me. It's like they wishing I would fall off. Oh. Oh, I had it just a sore, sore. 
On my second, I'ma go off, but I don't pay him no mind, no time. I won't worry about it. In the pain, move it ease, ain't concerned about it. It's whatever, I'm no better, I don't worry about it. In the thing, move it ease, ain't concerned about it. It's whatever, I'm no better. Yeah. And it's almost like a different sound than the than the song we just heard just just a few minutes ago. Just wait till you hear the last one. <laughs> lots of like diversity in your sound, like lots of range. So yeah, I like that. Um, it ain't a thing. I mean, it's not. Ain't period. Dot. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Keep on we, moving. He just followed Eddie off of his sticker here. That's why I like having that here because yeah. it's so easy to do, right? Shout out DJ Eddie Z. Yes, that's right. He's on the wheels tonight. That is the man, if you didn't know. Um, Deshaun, so we have you in the building. Yeah. Um, we've talked about your background. So we're talking about straddling the fence between Antioch, Susun, yeah. Fairfield. Um, what, as far as when, what, what I don't want to ask your age. So were you okay. in the hyphy movement? Like, were you down in Fairfield when Federation was doing their thing, their big one, or did it come uh, a bit later for you? Oh, you can ask my age. Okay. What's your age? 25. 25. So you're not necessarily directly in Fairfield when they were... Nah, but like... You probably got a lot of that um, influence, I'm sure. Yeah, you know how it is in the Bay Area. Like, we have our own style, our own, you know, niche... You can't escape it. Right. Even if you're not necessarily outside, so to speak, mm -hmm. for that, or not attending those kind of, you can't escape it. Right. <laughs> you that, know, you're going to hear something. Era, like yeah. the Rick Rock uh, Federation. Like, we, Rick Rock is one of my very favorite producers ever, mm -hmm. and he's a super cool dude. Like, I got to meet him one time, and it was like, wow, this guy is so talented and he's so fucking cool at the same time you know what a what a great guy so much love to rocket yeah. and he's from that area yeah um, we just had goldie in the building maybe four weeks ago so he was playing some music too but i was right in that 2006 era i was like right at their target audience you know so i was at kml the first year they ever did mm. hyphy when they first year they ever brought federation out and it went fucking bonkers, Word. you know, like that whole stadium went crazy. So I think it just goes to show that um, not the largest acts out of Fairfield can attain these huge hits, you know, right. and make waves like for the future. So I see the same thing in you, you know, mm -hmm. like you you're here, you're creating music that is uh, relatable on two sides of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. You produce, you make your own beats. It's like. These are the product of a lot of product of the environment of that era, you know. So I think that it's a shout out to them. It's an a testament to the people that were working right when you were starting and mm -hmm. working as you were getting started. Like yeah. this is people who influenced us. So with flowers and roses to all the Bay Area uh, legends because they have made a huge mark in the world, especially on the artists that I interview and that I know and myself. So. Um, I think that's I think we're blessed to be from this region. Yeah, you know, like we have all these stunners and hits yeah. right around us, you know, right? Like folks shouting out areas where I grew up, right? You know what I mean? It gives gives you like a sense of pride, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, yo, y'all know what he's talking about. I'm from there, you right? Know, like, that's you know. my that's my area, yeah. yeah. So much love, and I know LA is just a, a tad bit different than our scene, but. California in general is popping, you know, always has been in the music. Yeah. And I've been able to see the East Coast too, and I know it's the same over there, but I mm -hmm. think because uh, I'm from here probably, I have an affinity to NorCal music and West Coast music. So yeah. much love. Do you have any plan? Are you, do you do Halloween? Are you dressing up? Uh, never was a big dress up person. Just slide me the candy. I'm yeah. good. Okay. <laughs> well, um, we made a joke last night that um, T Nutty and I are gonna be Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart. All so right. yeah, that would be lit. Like I'm gonna go out and have um, some baked goods, and you know T Nutty will be Snoop, and he knows how to see walk excellent. So all right. You know he's the he's the OG Sea Walker. So we're gonna be good there. So we we may have a, a Halloween show to tune into. Um, also, right after you, we have Solo C, so that kind of segues into the no, the Noble hmm. um, open mic. So, as far, how many of those have you participated in? Uh, the open mic specifically for Noble, yeah. um, I think just two. Okay. And ha did I ask you how you met Noble already? Uh, no, no. So actually, so I've been, I performed at his at his spot three times. Two of them were actually just for open mics. Uh, the last two actually, the first time. I went over there. I had opened up for San Quentin. Mm, yeah. And that was that was a show that Mike had put me on to. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm like, yo, Vallejo. I don't know, well, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know what I'm saying? Go. And so I did that, and it was great. Killed it. Um, Nobody liked what I did. He told me that he did the open mics, mm-hmm. and I was like, okay, let me find out more about it. And then I've I've done two since. Yeah, yeah. he's he's a great resource. Um, videographer for anybody out there that needs a videographer with buildings and sets in the Bay Area. He has multiple buildings, so he has a brand new set that they can customize the wall with yeah. like logos, however you need it. And he's been doing this as long as I've been doing this, so it's like, you know, I just feel like he's kind of one of the goats of that of that type of work, you know, videography, because he does it all, really. Yeah. And he used to rap, too. Yeah. You know? So he's got, like, this huge spectrum, but he's just kind of one of those people that you can see has that knack of um, he just attacks anything that he goes after. So, and uh, the the open mic is is a testament to that because he's never not biting off something new to do. Mm-hmm. You know, you always want to find a new avenue. So, for those a- artists out there that may want exposure and you may win something or you may meet people that may get you further, you want to sign up for every opportunity to get on every stage that you possibly can. Um, open mics. Um, in any city, you mm-hmm. can go to any open mic and pop your shit, and people are gonna remember you. And um, I have opportunities for indie artists, so if you're interested, tap in with me. Check your um, check my page because I have all my flyers up on my page. DJ Billy Knight is tuned in, and this is a big source too. Down in he's down in Mexico, but he is one of the people for One Umbrella Promotion, and he does media tours. So he takes you through whatever area you may not have that many friends in, and he's going to introduce you to all his friends, the DJs. Okay. So it's like a really influential tool to use because you're getting into these markets where he knows the DJ. He can slide you their song, slide them your song. You can meet them all through him. So one umbrella promotion. He just opened a new restaurant. Congratulations on your restaurant down in Mexico. And he does do a um, show every year down in Mexico, Rosarita, I think. And it's uh, you don't even have to have your passport. They'll, I think it's close enough to the border. They let us artists down there. We throw down, hmm. and then we come back up here in NorCal. So if you ever want to go down and have a fun time on a mix show down in, in Mexico, I'm sure that's popping. Right. I can get you the info on that. So um, how do people find you? Let's tell them where's all your music at, um, where can they find it, how do they search you up, all your socials, things like that. Yeah, everything that you can think of, all the music platforms, that's Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, everything you can think of, and all the social media platforms as well. Everything is at Deshaun Forrest. That's D A E S H A. W N and Forest with two R's. Okay, good to know. Um, what's your what is your modality of choice? Do you like Instagram? Do you like Facebook? Do you like uh, Twitter? What do you I'm like? I'm more I'm heavy on Instagram. Instagram. Me too. Uh, I, I would say I'm most active, but see, you know, you can connect because all of them. Yeah, together. and so mm-hmm. a post on Instagram to go to like facebook instagram and twitter twitch all yeah, that yeah so but i'm most i'm most active 100 on instagram and a close second i'd say is youtube as well okay. of course for, for all the video drops and stuff like that so for younger artists in your area your age frame what would you give as like some advice to the to the younger artists that are needing some guidance out there Ooh, that's a loaded question. Mm-hmm. Um, and still, anything helps, so they just need to hear any type of guidance at all. I would say perform, perform, perform. Yeah, get it, get your stage presence right. Yeah, and know how to perform mm-hmm. when you perform. Um, that's that's a loaded answer. I could really unpack that, but breath work, breath uh, work, physical, put yeah. performance track, put performance tracks together. Right. This uh, however you want to do it is how you do it. I have a formula for my performance tracks, but put together a set and just hit the stage as much as you possibly can. Like I'm, and I I get it. Once upon a time, like when I was just starting off, you know, I might go the entire year and only do three shows because that's just all the opportunities I had. Right. You know what I mean? Now, 
now we're about to get ready. We're about to go on a tour, right. and, you know. And aside from that, I I can do like you know four or five shows in a given month. Right. And so just take advantage of every single opportunity. And when you are performing, have someone there. If you don't have someone there, make a friend there so they can record you. There you go. You need that footage. Amen. Thank yes, you, you for do. that, because that is true. You find somebody that'll shoot your set for you, you can shoot theirs for them. Exactly. And that's what you need is some uh, documentation so you can watch your work, study your work, make it better, make it pop. Well, it was. Uh, I know we have one more song from you, so we're going to end in that, but it was really nice to have you here in the building, and now you know where we're at. Yeah. So if you ever need to come up here and politic when you come for your Chang season ticket tour, maybe – come give out a ticket see if people want to tap in with you um spread anything you want to to me send me the music we'll spin it and we are um csac ascap bmi all that license so you guys will definitely benefit from playing the music here um as far as i have two tickets to give away tonight for the mb riders show so i'll be getting you guys information on that Mm -hmm. soon shortly but um what is the last song and then we're going to end the podcast so if there's anybody you want to shout out thank um plug here's your time and then we'll talk about your third track and go into that yeah so doing shout outs first shout out my man brandon with the camera right now shout out the whole transparency squad y'all know who y'all are i like that name it's 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 a whole it's a whole team to name so i'm just saying shout out to them y'all know who y'all are shout out to my family shout out to big mike of course shout out to you having us here Mm -hmm. um like i said you can follow me on all platforms and catch my music on all platforms everything at day sean forest and this next song that we're going to play is called i've searched i've searched i've searched anything about that yeah so this one came from this one's a nice real fun track it's the most different thing i've ever done um but this came from a place of like frustration right but i like the i don't know if you'll be able to catch it because i like to take you know my negative stuff and spin it to where okay it sounds fun you should <laughs> yeah right. so but this this came from just frustrations through due to just like i mean i just keep it a book california is expensive yeah absolutely <laughs> financial burnout we're all feeling that and that's that was like the spark for this song it's like man everything's expensive i'm and we know we're building up a lot got the music got the podcast got merch we're sporting on merch right here nice. so we got okay. our websites and you know and then california is as expensive as it is and then it came from like man i'm tired of being broke i'm searching for answers kind of thing <laughs> do you have your website you want to drop it yeah yeah so the website for the whole team like I said, our team is called Transparency LLC. So the official website is Forever Transparent. That's like our little model star. Big, right. I so you it. caught it, though. I did. I did. You're getting you're faster than some. That That is our big model, big slogan. You see how beneficial that is, though. Yeah. Yeah, that works. So the website is called ForeverTransparent.com. And that covers the music, the podcast, the merch, the heart behind what we do, me and a couple of the team members as well. Well, much love. Uh, you got a, a bright future in front of you. It's definitely obvious, evident to see. I'll go run up your videos tonight, yeah. check you out, um, and, and encourage everyone to do so. And just send me all your clips. Send me anything you want promoted. And McGeezy is here for you. We also have a show this Friday night. Uh, Taji D is going to be opening one of the opening acts for the All Things Indie. This is our 14-year anniversary show. 14 years we've been doing this nice. um, and initially it was called rock the mic and then we started calling it all things indie showcase so um terrence keith is the headliner for that he's been rocking with us all 14 years so he'll be the headliner for the show i'll be hosting the show um we have probably 10 more acts that i'll be um, announcing here this week soon that's going to be over off florin road in sacramento and then saturday the 28th we're going to be in san francisco well pacifica with uh, mac mall and doobie they're going to be doing a show together down there saturday um, evening so make sure you check my page for um, that information i you know wherever mall goes i follow i try to follow hmm. so uh that's like that's my mo in life following um the cutties from Vallejo around but now i have a new one a new cutie from the yak and yeah. he's also from the flats yeah Sassoon, fairfield north so. bay east bay 707-925 lego let them know that's right let's run that in searching dj eddie z right back coming in with solo c right after this oh, no, no. Yeah. Yeah.